Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistrov here. Right now we're in the Plankation Dominaria event, and I'm going to be jamming a deck real quick. We've got a, our quest are cast 20 blue or green, or cast 20 white or green. Well with green being the common color, obviously that's what we're going to go for first. So let's, let's do it. Now if you haven't seen this, as you can see there's a little bit of a ban list, just a little bit. So you play standard, it's standard right now, except there's a nice little list that's banned. There's Benalish Marshal, History of Benalia, Curious Obsession, Brineborn Cutthroat, Sword Imperious Bloodlord, <gasps> Arclight Phoenix, Goblin Chain Whirler, Light Up the Stage, Rekindling Phoenix, Runaway Steamkin, Nissa Who Shakes the World, Wild Growth Walker, Field of the Dead, Teferi Hero of Dominaria, Teferi Time Raveler, Thought Erasure, Feather the Redeemed, and Hydroid Crisis and Risen Reef. Now, I have played with none of those cards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lately, anyway, my two main deck. well, yeah, well, two the two decks that I play most often when I'm trying to be competitive feature none of those cards, which probably means I've been doing it wrong this entire time. Uh, since we're doing blue and green first, let's, whoa, yeah, let's play with, let's choose attack. All right, so jungle secrets, cool. Now, some of these obviously are going to be out because... Uh, I don't know why this one's out, actually, but this one has Arclight Phoenix, this one has both Teferis. I will figure out what that one has that it's not supposed to have. Uh, but we're going to submit this. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Apparently, I just went into the deck editor. I'm great, folks. I'm great at this. Uh, while it's loading up, uh, check it out. I have an article written on Etherhub, so go check that out in the description below. And if you would like to buy some cards from TCG Player, use my link down in the description. It does like actually help the channel out, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and the card it has is... Uh, huh, oh, Field of the Dead. That's what it is. It has Field of the Dead. That'll do it. Alright, so submit that deck. And let's get it started. I was trying to think of which red cards it might be, because you saw that was the red version of the Karn deck. Well, fair enough. Hmm. I'm gonna play until I get six wins, if everything goes well. Now this is Merfolk, so this should not take too long at all. Also, shoutouts to Craig Wesco for this shirt. I, he, I ended up buying them from him when uh, he was trying to raise money for an Indiegogo campaign. Not his, but like somebody else's. And so in order to have enough money, he sold his shirt. So, cool dude. Yeah, Craig Wesco is a really good dude. Like, a really... One of my favorite Magic players. And, uh... I... I like, there's, a, there's an upper echelon for me where it's basically a tie with a bunch of players and Craig Wesco is in there. Alright, so, Ob. No, no, is this Rakdos? I can't tell. Whoever that is. All right, cool. Uh, huh. I believe that I would like to start trickstering. If by some miracle the opponent does not see this coming, I can get him. So I'm going to try to play out the Merfolk trickster if they attack. Just attack, come on. Oh, please do it. Do it. Have you never seen a Merfolk deck before? So when this dies, create a 2-2 black Zamboni. Uh, I have a 2-2, and it's about to make it not have an ability. So I'll be able to chump block, and poor opponent. Yeah, so no Zamboni for them. Zambrigini. Yavamaya Shepherd. Okay, cool. Yay for tokens. Alright, so I believe that at this point I'm supposed to start setting up a wall, right? I believe I'm supposed to... I could play out the Mistbinder and just offer the one-for-one, one, because this is one card. Uh, that is more mana efficient, but I think that what I'm supposed to do is build up a board and then use Water Trap Weaver and Tempest Caller. Um, why did I play the land first? I could see a land here, and I did. Ah, dadgummit. Uh, no attacks. No attacks. I am anticipating some removal. Cast down, Vraska's Contempt, Murder, something to show up here. 
those cards, I would imagine, get a lot better considering the ban list. In general. Hmm. It's a trap. It's a trap. It is a trap. It's 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 a trap. It is a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Why am I falling for this? Um, because I'm gonna make them use. Oh no, never mind. Okay, so it's a death trigger. They're getting a death trigger in. No, no, that's not what they're doing. Never mind. Okay. I could have. Sw I would have sworn to you that that was a trap. Okay, with the speaker coming off the top, and seeing what this is, what creatures do they have? Doomed to center, and that's all. I don't know that it's necessary for me to play the water trap weaver here yet. Um. Sack two creatures, return target. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to just pl go big here. Ooh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Alright. Hiya! Yeah, that'd be Rakdos, wouldn't it? Ooh, okay, that's good. I'm so glad I didn't play the Mistbinders yet. Yeah, not a lot of great targets for them, unfortunately. Although, there is a little bit of a... So Whisper can sack two creatures, and because that's part of a cost, and then they can return the Chupacabra, and then I'm in trouble, so... I better hurry. Gotta go fast. Fast like Sanic. Fast like Sanic. Hiya! I'm just gonna present lethal next turn. Tempest Caller, present lethal. I mean, they're kinda done, aren't they? Well, you never know, you never know. Black has Ritual of Soot. It doesn't seem like something that the opponent would. Well, they've got two four drops. You never know, I guess. All right. Should I? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna offer them the good game. Please concede. All right. Tap everything. Respond with whisper. No, no response. Hi ya. Something. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Wait, 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 no, they're still dead. Okay, okay, okay. You did what you could. That was good. I was about to see some end-of-turn whisper shenanigans if I didn't go for it there. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Let's get some XP. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what that is. We'll get a card, we'll open the card pack later, but for right now, let's keep jamming. Merfolk are, I'm gonna get as much as I can out of these guys before they rotate. Ah, uh, they're cool, they're cool. <sighs> I dig them, I dig Merfolk. Shouts to Nikachu as always. Ooh. Yeah, we'll keep. Honestly, and I may be mistaken, I don't think I've ever not kept a hand with this deck. Not that I can remember. I think I've actually kept every single hand that I've played with this deck. Part of that is though is because of the Shuffler, though. Apparently the Shuffler is kind of rigged a little bit, is what I've been... There's a nice little Reddit thread about it, but long story short, someone played like a million games and figured out that the Shuffler is kind of biased a little bit, so it's very rare that you get too few or too many lands. Alright, so we've got to play the island here. Now it's a 2-2. I'm gonna go to combat first. It'd be really nice if I had a trickster so I could do, uh, I could trick the elf on upkeep. 
but I don't. Just to slow them down, just to break their tempo a little bit. What's that again? Um, sure. That's fine. It's still not what I'm going to be casting next turn, though, but that's, that's more than fine. Field. Interesting. Field, please. Yeah, Field and Llanowar Elf. That's a thing. I like it. Death Sprout seems okay. Seems alright. Actually, no, no, no. The more I think about it, the better that card seems, honestly. In, a, in, this, in the context of this format. Alright. Since we're not going to play out the Lord, we'll just go attacking here. I'm a little bit tempted to play the Water Trap Weaver just to keep their mana tied, but they have four cards. They might still have another land. I have two Water Trap Weavers. That makes it, that incentivizes me to do it a little bit, but I'll save it for what's coming up. Now, this is tricky. I would like another land. I don't need another land, though. Um... Ah, I would like to be able to play two of these at once. We're gonna keep it, though. That may be wrong, but I'm going to keep it. Alright. And obviously that gives away to my opponent, I don't have a land. I don't have a, another land. They do, though. Ebon of the Ebon Liege. Knight of the Ebon Liege. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Yet, yeah, no, let's not attack with that. Well, okay. So there's a trick here. Uh, if I attack, even if I pump first so that it would, you know, my ranger wouldn't die, they'd still get the triggers off of Reaper. Reaper madness over here. Reaper madness, that's what it is. Hmm. Let's see. It's not great for me to give them cards. Alright. See who blocks where. That went actually much better than expected, to be honest. Um, it's not great when the opponent has that many la- Oh, jeez. Blast Zone versus Merfolk. With this hand. Oh, gah. We're in trouble, folks. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. I mean, they knew that- They knew that the Trickster was there, so... Maybe they just- I don't know. Maybe they just thought they had to do it. Like, hey, at least we're getting rid of the 4-3 with a 3-2. Okay. That's fine. As soon as it decides to let me, that'll be fine. Alright, there we go. Let's get a forest. Hello? Hey... All right. Vrasco Golgari Queen. With that many lands, that's not good. That's also not good. Guess that the good news is she can't do it again. Let's let's dig for some lands, folks. Let's dig for some lands. See if we can find a couple. There's a Tempest Caller. Graveyard, draw land. 
Oh, but I want to keep you so badly. I'm actually going to I'm going to keep it. Oh. Let's get the very light hello. Crap. Crap. Do they? Oh, okay. Basic swamp. That'll work. <sighs> Folks. <sighs> okay. Charnel Troll. I don't know you. Trample at the beginning of your upkeep. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, plus plus one, otherwise sack it. Huh. I know that they have creatures. They do. Fair enough. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's... Which one's the more annoying one to get rid of? They have no more mana, so it's better for, to, for me to try to get rid of the Charnel Troll here, I think. Good, good. Okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. Okay. Uh-oh. What's up with all these one mana one twos with upsides? I, I dislike that design space. If it's going to be anything more than a one one, give it a downside, please. Goblin Guide. Goblin Guide had a downside. Kind of. Yet another Water Trap Weaver. It's not looking good for your boy. It's not looking good for your boy. I would just be getting rid of Atlantamar Elves. That's not where I would like to be. Well, reveal a merfolk. Reveal the merfolk they know about. Draw a card. Maybe draw a land. Again, please. That would be nice. Alright, that's not a land. Never you mind. No attacks. Up that blast zone. No, no ticking up blast zone. They're keeping it on one. I, I would think that against Merfolk you would want to put it on two, if for no other reason you know I have a Lord in hand. Oh, hi. This is going to hurt. Oh, this is going to hurt. This not, <laughs> this not looking good. They've got another card. I am going to lose. I'm super duper sure. Yep, that'll do it. That's as good a reason as any. Oh, or that works. That's also a reason. Jeez. Uh-oh, folks. Uh-oh. T1 Glisten erect. All right. Get an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage, that player loses the game. Huh. And one of their creatures happens to have flying. Why? Dear God, why? Alright, well, I guess that means that they can't kill the Mistbinder this turn. Not that that's much consolation. 
I'm still... Yeah, I'm still in trouble. It's a very technical magic term. In trouble. <sighs> what is that? Uh-oh. Good game. You got me. You got me, opponent. You got me. Plus to plus? Oh no, they're sacking something. That makes sense, I guess. Okay, okay. Fair. All four Lanowar elves. I'm gonna give him the nice on that one. All four Lanowar... Right on time, buddy. Right on time. You are useless, dude. Alright. Well, we'll do what we can. You win 0% of the games you concede, so <laughs> let's keep going. Yeah. Going to die anyway? Oh, okay. Nothing that time. Nothing that time. Plus to plus. Let's go. So... Hmm, folks. Hmm. Temple? Temple OS. Shoutouts to Temple OS. Alright, so if I do this, I'm going to get a land on top when I play the Ranger. And I don't... Finally, I don't think I'm at a point where I need that. So, now we play the Ranger. See what we get. Watch it be two more lands. Because, of course, why wouldn't it be? Oh, okay. Library Graveyard. Alright. We are not winning this game unless we start hitting the opponent, but there's definitely not blocking unless I go after Vraska. Oh ho 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 ho! Yes, we will take action. Get the the Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh ho! Well, in that case. Alright. We can take a hit here. And if they don't, we'll just tap it down again. Blast them. Yep, there it is. There it is. It took them a sec, but they got there. I mean, if nothing else, that's food for Vraska. Uh, or that works. That works, again. too. Yeah. Boom. Does A. Alright. I believe that it's safe to say that literally no card in the game now will save me. Okay. Okay. Why not? I know that I edit music into these videos. I still can't help having a little beat come down sometimes. And they get to be back at 20. Alright, well there's another blue card at least. We're gonna go to combat. We're gonna hit them j for no reason other than I want them to not be at 20 anymore. Hey, there we go. Winning. Uh... Lurgoy, <laughs> yes, I got to do it. I got to do it. All right, I'm gonna play it out because the opponent might be uh, trying to build their own uh, quest, attack with a certain number of creatures or cast spells or whatever. So, even though I'm definitely dead here, I'm not gonna concede. I'm gonna let them get their points. Let them do their thing. I died with an unclaimed territory on Lurgoy. I, I still won in spirit. It is a moral victory. Uh, how many did that end up being? 500. 
All right, cool. Let's go back home and see how many green cards we're at. Twelve. Eh, we'll keep playing Merfolk. We will keep playing some fishies. Do it again! Do it again! I have Land Destruction too. That's also green, and it's actually, I think, a, a denser green deck. It has a greater density of green cards. But what the heck? Also, uh, Land Destruction has been tweaked for the, the jank brew off with Michael, and I haven't unjanked it yet. Like, it's, it's already jank anyway, but you get the idea. Alright. So, Breeding Pool tapped. Breeding Pool tapped into Island, so that they don't know that I'm on Merfolk just yet. Oh, hi. Well... Fun. We can win this matchup. It's not that bad. But, uh, it's not something I like to see. To be fair, Mono Red goes much the same way as Merfolk in that, like, it's not that hard and you know when you've won and when you've lost. Pretty early on. Also, I keep calling this thing a monkey. It's not a monkey, it's a goblin. But tell me that doesn't look like a monkey. It's a pirate too, so it's totally a pirate monkey. Alright, well, we're not playing a Mistbinder yet. That thing is going to die if we do. So let's play a Trickster and see if we can do something. Okay, so this one will turn on Phoenix, as will this one. This one deals more damage over time, so we're gonna we're gonna block this one. I mean, oh go, oh, that was the ability. Oops, my bad. That was the ability. I is smart, folks. I is smart. I is very smart. All right, Kapala to try to cut down on the lightning strikes. We're just gonna hit him right back. Hit him right back, folks. Next turn, Miss Binder, Miss Binder, go. Oh, mm. yeah, Kapala should be putting in an. And Kapala's just a one of, actually. This is this is something I will always, 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 always run in modern Merfolk. The exception being Hogak meta, but that's because Hogak is weird. Hogak is there. There's a word for that that's not appropriate. <laughs> no, it's fine. Alright. Yeah, fine is not the word for Hogak, though, I promise you. Alright. So, what are we doing? Building up green cards. We should be at 14, I believe. And... a a Death for sure. <laughs> Cannot confirm that. Cannot confirm that. Yeah, it is a deck where you know whether you've won or lost pretty soon. And click. You know what, while I'm thinking about it, we're only two in, but let's open a pack. While we're at it, let's just open a pack real quick. Quick little pack opening in the middle of it. Rule of Law. Shoutouts to Rule of Law. Ooh, shoutouts to a Mythic Wild card. Uh, I mean, this is this is good. This is, a, this is fine. This is an okay pack. I have ten Mythic Rares. I, I probably ought to use them a little bit more. Alright. Take me back. Alright. Jump back in with Merfolk. Ooh. I would like to play this deck all the time. But they're about to rotate. <sighs> Can't hear my shoulders pop, but good grief. Lilium Noctis. Okay, Noctis is night. Lilium, um, crap. To say that I am rusty on my Latin is a ridiculous understatement. <laughs> Lilium. Hmm. Alright, what is this when it dies? Deal one? Okay. Tell me if you've seen this one before. Merfolk. Please, I swear, do it. Do it. Attack. Attack. Do it. Do it. Attack. Do it.
Once again, have you never played a merfolk deck before? We do dumb stuff like this all the time. Alright, kill it. Nope, never mind, they're not killing it. Just, just... No value. Corpse Knight. Now, it's Vampire Knight and Corpse Party. Those are the two animes, right? Enters the battlefield under your control. Well, okay then. I'm gonna name Merfolk. We're actually gonna... We're going to attack. See if they'll bite. And we're going to wait to do the uh, the second Merfolk Trickster until they cast a creature. You know, no, we're doing it again. Tiny, it, tiny bit of value. That's all. Just a mite, just a hair. Hello, that happened. Oracle, Seafloor Oracle. I wouldn't have it as more than a one of, but it's such a good card. That is such a good card. Jeez, I will draw two cards. Absolutely. It's only a 2-3. I think, if I remember correctly, there was a time way back in the day where Nikachu was making an analysis video on Seafloor Oracle. Maybe, like, saying maybe it could be in Modern, but probably not. I agree, but in Standard, this card is crazy. Oh, hi, and we have... Oh! And we have a Tempest Caller. Not that we need it right now, but we do. We do have it. Now that is to any target, which doesn't really matter here because they're all more than one toughness. Um, I think I'm supposed to do... We're supposed to go to combat here first, right? So go to combat. Attack with you and you. And honestly, I could even do the Seafloor Oracle. I don't believe I should. Just those two. Now, yes. Okay, Fiend is going to trade with one of them. I'm going to draw a card. It's going to deal the last point of damage to Trickster. That's to be expected. Alright. Draw a card. I have already played my land, so now we're going to build up a bit more of a board. We're going to do Silvergill Adept. Reveal. Hello? Kumina Speaker. Draw. What are we drawing? Kapala! Ooh, ooh, that's, that's juicy. I believe, actually, instead I'm gonna do Kapala here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so two for Speaker, three for Branch Walker, Tempest Caller. Ah, uh, we're still not lethal anyway. Okay, so we'll do Kapala then. I was looking for Tempest Caller shenanigans. I would have to top deck a Branch Walker uh, in order to make Tempest Caller lethal on the next turn. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, folks. It just got real. It just got real. In that case, do I Tempest Caller here just to draw a bunch of cards? Yes, I believe I do. They can't gain any life here either. There's no Celebrants. Oh, and by the way, this is when it dies. They die after combat, so I will kill them before the trigger goes on the stack. Kumina Speaker. Kumina Speaker. Go wide or go home, I guess. Alright, and that's two green cards as well. Alright, what you got? You got Kapala 2 to mess with you. I don't know what you're trying to do, Soren. That does not win you the game. You get back a fiend. I mean, your creatures have lifelink. That part actually does matter here. If I don't top deck another, uh, another Tempest Caller, I'm having to rely on the two Water Trap Weavers. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's on your turn they have lifelink. That's right. That's right. So never mind. Never you mind. Alright. Keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. There's that ugly looking forest. I never was a fan of those. I'm sorry. It's just so busy. The art looks so busy to me. Uh, but, eh, what do I know? That's just me. I believe our record now is 3 out of 4, so 75%. That's alright. That's alright. I believe. I think the only one we lost was the, uh, the Golgari Thalad Vraska deck. Oh, by the way, we're out of coffee in the Zero Fox Given cup. I have not been of the greatest intestinal fortitude today, let's say. And once I thought that I was finally alright, I jumped straight into coffee, because that's what you do. That's smart. That's what smart people do. Alright. Biomancer, see what the opponent does. <sighs> Ooh, comes in tap, though. Okay. Hinterland Harbor. Go to combat, because no matter what, we're going to combat. No looting yet. Silver Gill Adept, Reveal, Ranger, because there's a chance I might not be able to cast that. I'd rather give him knowledge about stuff I can't cast rather than stuff that I can. Ooh. Diagraph Ghoul. Mono Black Aggro, let's go! This is a bear. Just a really bad bear, folks. Uh-huh. Um... Can I just outrace them? Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna play Kamina, and we're gonna set up a wall. Kumina into do nothing. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Kumina into draw a card, and then on the next turn, play out the speaker and the branch walker, and just start adding counters. That resolves. You got that. Wait, is this zombies? I did not notice that. All right. Like, it just looked like mono-black aggro to me at first. All right, we'll draw a card. Cool. Oh, hi, Lisa. Oh, hi, Lisa. You know, though, there's a problem. I actually don't have the mana to do both. I'll hold up Trickster. Well, it might look to the opponent like I'm just about to draw a card. Hopefully that's it. Crossing Fingers Hidden Dragon. Itchy knows, as you do. There's another corpse. It's a corpse party! Woo! That always ends well. It's a gutter bones. Okay, so that's not a zombie. See, that's not a zombie. Oh, hi. Alright, so quickly, flash in the Trickster, target Reaper. Alright, pass to Blockers, block here, block here. What the heck, might as well just in case, block, give me the ability. There it is, there it is. One, two, all right, hello. Two, three, four, five. And we're going to get to loot as well, because this is whenever a plus one, plus one counter goes onto it. 
Uh... I mean... Jade Light Ranger? No, it should have been Branch Walker. Ooh, and... And we got there. We got there, folks. Kumina being a boss. Just absolutely a boss. Alright, did we get there yet? I don't... I still don't think we've gotten... Oh, wow. Huh. It's still kind of busy, but it looks... It looks cool. I like it. I dig it. I guess. Alright. So how far along are we? 18. So close. Another pack opening. What's this one going to be? Da 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 da! Yet another Cryptic Caves. Okay, so Golos and Goblin Ringleader. We're we're looking all right. This is this is fine. I think that's my only Ringleader though, so we're not going to be building Goblins anytime soon. But Golos, that's cool. Like uh, it, when rotation happens, if Mud needs a, uh, uh, we'll save the store for later. We'll save the store for later. If Mud needs another way to get Field of Ruin out. I'll use Golos. Golos will be a fun little way to go and do that. Well, we'll, we'll save these for later. Alright. Back to this. Play a little bit more. Alright, merfolk. If we're doing as hot as we are, maybe I'll, I'll jam some bonus games of me playing a janky deck. Alright, Bysted. I think I've... Oh, is that supposed to be, like, busted, but spelled incorrect? Oh, we're still keeping. We're honestly still keeping. Because I have a branch walker that can try to find me a land. And we have some draw steps. It helps when we're on the draw, too. It does mean we lose a little bit of tempo not being able to play out the Biomancer. But to be fair, we run Temple of Mystery anyway. Alright. Insert Regret. Insert regret. No regerts. Nope, we got there. We got there. No regerts. Alright, what you playing? This is the Planeswalker Singleton deck. Without either Teferi. Heck yeah. Now, I have to have blue for the adapt there. Uh, so we're... Why am I doing this before combat? Find some more lands, folks. Actually, Silvergill's okay. Silvergill's okay, but I think I would like to have more lands. We'll do Library Graveyard just to make it big. Alright, Lightning Strike. Kills the Ranger. Makes me regret all my... Okay, never mind. <laughs> all my life decisions. Oh, Tybalt. Okay. Tybalt makes a dude. That's gonna be fun. Tybalt's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, so I'm a little bit tempted to play the Water Trap Weaver just to kill Tybalt. I'm a little bit tempted. If I play the Branch Walker, or Misbind Branch Walker, it's not gonna make a difference there. You know what? What the heck? Because when this thing deals its damage and then death trigger, it's still gonna be one. Alright, fair enough. And then they're gonna kill it. That was... Ranger, come on, do something again, please. Tempest Caller, if I had another land, would be nice. Should I do, I'll do Library Graveyard, so that I can guarantee the, uh, the second counter. Bird in the hand and all. Mox Amber makes red. My assistants are painfully sloppy. Your voice is the most annoying thing, dude. Like, and I've seen Facebook videos, <laughs> and it's still that annoying. All right, cool, Chandra. Now we're in trouble. Hey, let's light it up. That's a land. Mobilize district. 
I'm gonna give him a nice on that one. So there's a land. Um, you're at five. You don't do anything now. Like, anything at this point. And this will be enough to take out one of them. It also means that if the devil were to do its thing here, it couldn't actually kill the Mistbinder, because the Mistbinder can't attack. It would need combat and its death trigger to kill it. It's over when I say it's over. Yep, so I'll be taking five. Don't actually know why that took as long as it did. I'm not gonna play out the Biomancer, I believe. Um I'm gonna wait. A little worried about this thing dying. Maybe that's wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Sarkon, mono red planeswalkers. Let's go. Jank. Alright, alright. Water Trap Weaver's looking real hot now. Looking real hot. Still have a teeny tiny problem. You know what? Actually, I could just Tempest Call her. I could just do Tempest Call her, couldn't I? I have two, after all. Let's go. Yeah, I'm regretting not playing the Biomancer earlier. But it, it works out, I think. So, two at you. And then... And then... Call it a day. Yep. Listen to them roar, come on! The dragon does not lose! You just lost, dude. You just lost. Take the L. Hold that L. Hold that L. Ooh, okay. Wait, are you- you're dead now! You're dead- no! Oh, oh, okay. We got a problem, folks. We got a problem. There's two dragons now. So that's gonna kill this thing. Um... Deals one damage to that creature. If I Tempest Caller to tap him down, gonna take two, which means you die. Four, four... Okay, so we're, we're still good. We're still good. We're still exactly lethal. Also, if this is worded the way I think it's worded, I could just not attack. Yeah, no, I could just not attack with the, the Mist Binder, and we're okay. So never mind, we're alright. I will consume that. Once I will consume you. Yeah, okay, we got there. We got there, folks. Woo! Mono Red Planeswalkers! <laughs> Yeah, good times, good times. Shoutouts to Interplanar Beacon being a. Uh... Be afraid, wizard. Oh, I think that's my second Chandra novice. Okay, so we're five of six right now. Gee, I wonder what this is gonna be. Island. Now, since we went through five, legitimately, what is this one? It's a full art. Uns, one unset. Okay, cool. Let's go for it. It's an island too. Be able to swag out with my uh, merfolk by replacing the islands. That'll be neat. That'll be fun. Oh my goodness. Get that stretch in. Ender's Eden. I've actually missed a couple Planeswalker uh, Plankation events, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, so what do we have? Territory into Speaker. Hello! Hello! Merfolk, we're pretty good, I like to think. I like to think we're alright. Wow! As Evangeline calls it, the lava kitty. Wow! 
All right. Um. Hiya. Mono Merfolk. Let's go. Mono one drops. Let's get blown out by Blast Zone. All right. Thought Erasure is banned in this. <laughs> Discovery is not. Now that's interesting. Well, okay. Not what I was expecting. I'm trying to see the flip side of it. All right. Huh. Okay. I can live with that. Um... Okay. Ah, oh, but I only have three land. It's fine. Even if I can't cast them both on the same turn, it's fine. We'll make it. We'll live. I was kind of hoping I'd see some Ashiok Mill or some Rats or Petitioners here, but no, we've got Dredge. We've got Bug Dredge. Sultai Dredge. Let's go. How is this the first time I've come across this deck during the event? Well, I don't know, but... We'll see. Hey, tap you down. Let you stay tapped down. To paraphrase Frank Karsten, in the context of Hogak in Modern, uh, Stitcher Supplier is Ancestral Recall, Black Lotus, and Mox Jet, all in the same card for one mana. It's kind of silly. All right, what you got? What you got, opponent? Just in case. Yeah, we got there. All right, so seven matches, or seven games, we won six of them. So that was a pretty short event. I blame Merfolk because Merfolk are sweet like that. And uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. What's our last one? Da-da-da-da! Island! All right. Cool. Now let's open some packs. So let's go to the store, buy some more. Now I've been opening uh, Guilds of Ravnica, and the reason is, or Ravnica Allegiance, excuse me, because I'm trying to get some shocks. That's, that's basically the reason. Even after rotation, shocks are still going to be worth a, a good bet. And I didn't play much during Ravnica Allegiance on Arena, for reasons. Uh, so, Regenesis? Cool. That's my second absolution. I think Arena is trying to tell me something. Maybe suggesting a deck I ought to play. Otherwise, this is a red pack. The Rakdos and Gruul have taken over this pack, except the rare. Good grief. All right, well, cool, I guess. And then that one. That one. There is that. Um, thanks for watching this Dominaria Plankation. Do you enjoy your vacation? I sure did. I sure did. That was pretty neat. Uh, event, if you would like to check out the article or other articles I write in the future for Etherhub, That'll be down in the description below, and also, again, if you're buying some cards off TCG Player, please use my link down below. It really does help out the channel. I cannot say that enough. That's cool. All right. And other than that, I'll see you during the next event, I guess, or I'll see you during Michael's next jank off, or whatever we do. Whatever we do. All right. Take care, Magic Community. Bye-bye.